to my channel Medicine Guide. Gabapentin, originally developed as an anticonvulsant, is commonly used to treat a variety of conditions, including epilepsy, neuropathic pain, restless legs syndrome, and some anxiety disorders. Here's a detailed look at how gabapentin affects the body. So let's start our discussion but before that please subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide. Mechanism of Action Gabapentin works by modulating the activity of certain neurotransmitters and ion channels in the brain and nervous system. 1. Calcium Channels Gabapentin binds to the alpha-2 delta subunit of voltage-gated calcium channels in the central nervous system. This binding reduces the release of excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate, norepinephrine, and substance P, which are involved in the transmission of pain and seizures. 2. GABA analog. Although structurally similar to the neurotransmitter gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, gabapentin does not bind to GABA receptors nor does it influence GABA synthesis or uptake directly. Instead, its effects are thought to be due to its influence on the calcium channels. Effects on the body 1. Central Nervous System CNS. Seizure control. Gabapentin helps reduce the frequency of seizures by stabilizing neural activity in the brain. Neuropathic pain relief. By inhibiting excitatory neurotransmitter release, gabapentin can decrease the sensation of pain, making it effective for conditions like diabetic neuropathy, postherpetic neuralgia, and fibromyalgia. Anxiety and sleep. It has anxiolytic, anxiety-reducing, and sedative properties, which can help in conditions like generalized anxiety disorder and insomnia. 2. Peripheral nervous system. Pain modulation. Gabapentin's action on peripheral nerves helps reduce the sensation of pain from nerve damage. Pharmacokinetics. Absorption. Gabapentin is absorbed in the small intestine, with bioavailability decreasing at higher doses. Distribution. It does not bind significantly to plasma proteins, and its volume of distribution approximates total body water. Metabolism. Gabapentin is not significantly metabolized by the liver. Excretion. It is excreted unchanged by the kidneys, necessitating dose adjustments in patients with renal impairment. Clinical uses. 1. Epilepsy. Used as an adjunctive therapy for partial seizures. 2. Neuropathic pain. Effective in various forms of neuropathic pain including diabetic neuropathy and postherpetic neuralgia. 3. Restless legs syndrome, RLS, reduces the sensory disturbances and urge to move the legs. 4. Off-label uses, includes anxiety disorders, bipolar disorder, and migraine prophylaxis. Side effects. Gabapentin can cause a range of side effects, which may vary in severity. 1. Common side effects. Drowsiness and fatigue. Sedation is a frequent side effect, often used therapeutically for insomnia or anxiety. Dizziness can affect balance and coordination. Peripheral edema. Swelling in extremities likely due to fluid retention. 2. Gastrointestinal effects. Nausea and vomiting. Some patients experience mild gastrointestinal discomfort. Constipation or diarrhea. Changes in bowel habits can occur. 3. Psychiatric effects. Mood changes. 
Some patients may experience depression, anxiety, or emotional instability. Cognitive effects. Issues with memory, concentration, or confusion can arise, particularly in older adults. 4. Neurological effects. Tremors. Some users may experience fine tremors. Vision changes. Blurred vision or diplopia. Double vision can occur. 5. Serious side effects. Respiratory depression. Particularly when combined with other CNS depressants like opioids. Severe allergic reactions. Rarely. Gabapentin can cause severe hypersensitivity reactions, including drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms. Dress. Conclusion. Gabapentin has a multifaceted role in the management of various neurological and pain-related conditions. Its effects are primarily mediated through modulation of calcium channels, leading to decreased excitatory neurotransmitter release. While effective, it can cause a range of side effects, necessitating careful patient monitoring and dose adjustments, particularly in populations with comorbid conditions or those taking concurrent medications. That's enough for this video. If you want to watch more like this please keep watching my channel. Disclaimer. Channel's intention to make this video is for informational purposes only. Consult your doctor or healthcare provider for use of any medicine or for query of any disease. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide.